here is the Ames power inverter. This is a 10 kilowatt inverter. Split phase is a 48 volt DC, 240 volt AC output. This is the front. Here on the side is where the battery power is connected into it. There's a plate that goes over the front of that, and I have the plate off. There's vent holes on both sides. And on the top there, there's two fans. One's a DC and one's an AC fan, cooling fans. Here on the bottom, you have a DC cooling fan. There's your DC going into it, 48 volts. These are on off switches and breakers for the AC. That there is a GFI. AC output and it has your two buttons for testing and resetting and up a little higher you yeah, have um, these connections are for a pump uh, 240 volt if you have a well pump or a, like I have a creek pump it's a 240 volt Creek bump. I think mine's a one horse. This will take up to a five horse. Here's some more venting on the side. And another view of the top. Here. This is one DC and one AC motor. This unit is very heavy. Comes in all pallet, its own little pallet, and uh, it weighs about 175 pounds on the pallet. The unit itself is 150 pounds. So you can see we have it on this board, and the board was lifted with this block. Use those blocks to lift it up. I put it on this board, I slid it off of the pallet and set it on the board. And I'm also using this board for the switch for the DC on off. I have tested this using the GFI on the side here. And it'll run everything in the garage. Table saws, radio arm saws, shop vac. Had them all turned on at the same time kept on going. It's a 10 kilowatt inverter. 30,000 watt surge on it. So, so far everything's going pretty good. This is the plate for the power unit for the Ames inverter. You mount this on the wall and then you can slide that inverter right onto the top of this as long as you have somebody strong enough to lift it 150 pounds or a couple people kind of hard to grab hold of hope you enjoyed this